गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम निशा करण अगेन विद यू विद अ न्यू टॉपिक एपोस्ट्रॉफी सी वॉट इज एपोस्ट्रॉफी दिस इज द साइन ऑफ एपोस्ट्रॉफी हैव यू सीन दीज वर्ड्स दीज आर कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्शंस कांट वी यूज दीज वर्ड्स ऑफन कांट she is we are i would they have that would children's wouldn't here you can see we have used o clock apostrophe it's what is the full form of it it is this is the full form and this is the short form we say it contraction they are what is the contraction of they are there who is who is we are we are you are you are sometimes we change the pronunciation sometimes we don't change the pronunciation but we contract the word now i am going to tell you when to use an apostrophe <clears throat> firstly we use apostrophe to show possession possession means to have something like this is tim's wagon wagon means a heavy vehicle it means that this wagon is of tim so we are telling the possession tim's possession is wagon james socks are dirty whose socks are these james so we are telling james possession about the socks where letters are missing like contraction as i told you earlier contractions or short forms i am you are they will doesn't here are some more examples we use apostrophe with see i am dogs haven't sisters i have dad she is mums weren't shouldn't lauras didn't childrens brothers grandmas elephants now i am going to tell you how contractions work firstly contraction work as possessive nouns we use contraction with possessive nouns singular noun the boy's pencil means this pencil belongs to this boy this pencil is possession of this boy pencil belonging to boy means the boy's pencil or we can also write it as the pencil of boy so this may be the short form of that sentence second again we are taking singular noun example again possessive noun chris chris chose car to add s to the word even though it ends in s <coughs> this car is of christos so we are writing it as christos car now singular nouns katy's picture this is katy this is her picture so this is katy's picture so here i we are using apostrophe as contractions see i have given examples earlier also here how to use an apostrophe to show ownership again ownership means possessive or possession possessive means these things belongs to those persons the girls balloon this balloon is girls so this balloon belongs to this girl plural balloons here are many balloons so the girls balloon see this is the different use of apostrophe you can see the difference of 
putting apostrophe here and here normally when we are using plurals and there is s in the and we put the apostrophe in the end and we don't repeat the s okay like here girl is there we put apostrophe and we put s but here because s is already there as this is plural word so we just put apostrophe okay so girls balloon right again let us see some more examples to make it clear the lady bugs flower this is ladybug you have seen and this is sunflower so this is flower of this ladybug the lady bug apostrophe s flower the lady bugs flower now these are many lady bugs and this is only one flower so we will use lady bugs and now apostrophe and we will not write s again okay lady bugs flowers of flower either here we have we have just one flower here i'm again repeating the rules we have learned singular noun when there is singular noun we put apostrophe add an apostrophe and an s one apples seed okay here apple apostrophe s does it have an s yes just add an apostrophe if see here we, uh, we are using plural noun if plural noun has s in the end we don't put s after apostrophe like here we have we have used s after apostrophe here because s is before apostrophe we don't put s after apostrophe but when the plural is without s when the plural doesn't contain s in the end we put apostrophe in the end we put apostrophe with s in the end okay see this is boys plural we put just apostrophe with no s and here children children is the plural of child but it doesn't end with s so we put apostrophe and s right <clears throat> so in the end i am telling you again be careful with apostrophe how to be careful with apostrophe this is a b and it is telling you what we have learned in this video we use apostrophe with singular possessives this is b hive this is house of b b the bees hive this hive belong to this b this is one b so we are putting apostrophe and we are putting s means this b hive belong to this b the bees hive but here plural possessive these are three b's okay so we don't put s after apostrophe the b's hive means this hive belongs to all these b's apostrophe and no s the girl's gift girl is singular so we put apostrophe and s here two girls are there to the girl is plural so we just put apostrophe with no s okay now see one more example one or two more example the walrus's tusk when see here walrus is one animal walrus is a water animal walrus walrus's tusk chris chut here chris is a boy if it's a proper noun add apostrophe only okay when it is a proper noun we just put apostrophe and when it is a common noun we add apostrophe with s right so we have seen we have, uh, we have used apostrophe for making contractions which is very common and 
to show possessive possession